Well, it's 108 degrees out in North Texas right now, at least where we are. I read someplace the index says 115 or how it feels, so it is hot. Well, the power just went out. So my wife and I started putting together our emergency cool room setup, and I thought, wow, what a good opportunity to show you what we do in, and, uh, in an emergency like this and, uh, and review the media 5000 BTU window air at the same time. So what we do is we run the uh, AC on our portable power station, our Delta Pro. Then, we, In fact, I'm running the lamps right now for this video on it. And then uh, we put out six 100-watt solar panels in the back. Now, 5,000 BTUs is, is pretty small. Uh, the manual says it'll cool up to about 150 square feet. We used this in two summer power outages in our previous home, 120 square foot room. It did a great job there. This room's 175 square feet. We had a power outage three weeks ago here, and it did a great job, probably because we're facing north and, and it's very well insulated. But in any case, it cycled off and on and ran well. If it didn't, we just go to a small room. Now, there are four reasons we really like this. First, we hurt our backs years ago, and so we have to be very careful with what we lift. And it's only 35, 39 pounds. The second reason is uh, it's easy to set up. We just keep it in the closet, indoors, nice and clean. Pop this window open, set it up here, uh, drop the window down below the lip here, bring out the fins, and put out the uh, some uh, uh, painter's blue tape on the outside to seal it up a little bit. It's just temporary. The third reason we like this unit is because it's efficient. It's rated at 550 watts. And if you're, if you're going to be running on a battery, you want you know low draw. Uh, the last reason would be the price. I've seen the price between 149 and 179 Now, under the description, I have a link to Amazon if you want to check out more information on this unit. Um, but I saw at Walmart for $149. Uh, I don't know if it's for that price now, but that's what it was. Now, when the power goes out normally here, it's already cool in the house. You know, their air conditioning was running, so it's about 75. And it, then we set this up, set this up within minutes, it's maintaining that temperature. Then we go out and put the panels up. Today, it's different. I'm going to let it warm up in this room, and I'm going to stress this out and find out how long it takes to cool it off to a, a reasonable temperature. So let's check the temperature and then uh, start it up. So it's about 80 degrees in here right now. It's very uncomfortable. It's very humid. So we're going to go ahead and start this, this AC up. But first, I'm going to go over a few things I'm going to do. I've got a kilowatt meter on here so I can find out what the average, uh, how many watts per hour on average it uses if I happen to have to use it for several hours. And uh, I have a clamp meter so uh, it'll get the maximum amps. That way I can tell how many uh, uh, startup watts it uses and then I'll reset and I can see if it, the surge watts exceed that it'll remember it for me Okay, so let's go ahead and start this up Okay, my panels are bringing in about 329 or so um, If I took some time to angle them a little bit better, I'd probably get a whole lot more right now I just want to get this this video done. So it's bringing in pretty good 330 the unit is using about 480, so the offset's pretty good. Yeah, 456 is what it's using right now. Now for the amps, 15.42. So 15.42 times 120 volts. So startup watts, 1850. So if you're going to get a portable power station for a, an AC like this, you, you need at least, I'd say 2,000, but hopefully like 2,200 uh, available surge watts in your unit. And for running watts, I'd, I'd go with the, uh, the rating, which is 550, and an increase a little bit more. So I'd say about 800 to 1,000 running watts available on your, your system, and it should be able to run this, this setup fairly well. So we'll go ahead and run this for a little while and see if we can cool the room off. Okay, here's what the setup looks like outside. I have my six panels out here. They're not angled um, really as good as they could be, but I wanted to get this video going, so I, I'm a little, a little careless about putting them up. Air conditioning. It's pretty quiet, actually. So it's been running for about 35 minutes. And it's already down to 74 degrees. 
So I'm very pleased with that. Uh, the air coming out, 55, 56. I went ahead and closed the curtains to help it out a little. And looks like the input right now is about 315, 313. And the output's 523. It's, it's to be expected. It's rated at 550. But like I said, it's only been about 35 minutes, so I'll check the watt hours per hour on average with the kilowatt meter um, a few hours from now. Well, the power came back on in about 55 minutes, and I found out that we're on rolling blackouts. So I, I'm not going to be checking how many watt hours per hour on average it uses, but it's using between you know 475 and, and 545 um, you know, per hour. It's just, you, so you need a, a unit, a portable power station that can handle, I would say about 800 at least running watts. And then uh, the startup watts, that, what was that, like uh, 1,850? So 19, 20, 20, I say 20, at least 2,200 watts available for surge or startup watts. You know, a, a system or a, a, a portable power station that can handle that. And then you'd be good to go. So it worked really well. Uh, I'm very happy with it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please like it, subscribe, and don't forget to share. All right, thanks, and have a cool day.